So just a brief introduction to this video. <clears throat> uh, the aim of it is to document uh, the transformation essentially of uh, this grass track sidecar from uh, carburetors, which were sat right there, and an ignition system into a fully sequential uh, electronic fuel injection system um, made by myself. Um, we're working with a couple of sponsors. As you can see, the Ignitech ECU is down there, and when bits come back from fabrication, you will see uh, the fuel system, and we'll talk about the sponsors incorporated in all of the workings behind all of that. You join me part way through where I have already wired in the camshaft sensor and the crankshaft position sensor. Uh, the camshaft sensor obviously running along with the high frequency outputs for quite a long period of time has been wrapped in a metal braid to help reduce uh, induced current which can interrupt the signal and cause misfires at high RPM which is obviously something we don't want. What you can see here are the live feeds for all of our injectors and then these three twisted bundles are for our coils, our primary injectors and our secondary injectors. Uh, it looks like a bit of a, 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 a bird's nest at the moment, but it's all going to come together <clears throat> very shortly for you. I've stopped here just so you can see really the stages in which these coils get wired up. Here we've got just the exposed wires themselves yet to be paired with the live feed. And uh, then the next stage really is them being crimped and terminated correctly and then there they are being inserted into the connector connected to the coil and so here we have the finished product for wiring in all of the coils it's all nice and appropriately strain relieved nothing is pulled on one another sweet so you join me now quite a ways on from the last section of the video where I was wiring up the ignition coils and uh, we've now moved on and we've wired in our primary injectors and our secondary injectors and I've just finished some preliminary testing for our, the pin out of our throttle position sensor um, so wiring side of things all we've really got left to do now is wire in the fuel pump and the recirculating system. We can't do the fuel pump until we've got the fuel system done. That's the tank over there. So and that will be on the way shortly. Um, just to show you a couple of features of the Ignitec system here. We've got down here the throttle position. And like I said, I've just done some preliminary testing. So I've set the scaling up on that voltage offset chart correctly now to read what the throttle position potentiometer is showing correctly. And I've just gone through and tested all of the secondary injectors which have recently been wired up. So you can hear these. And here's the primaries. So pretty sweet. Pretty neat, easy way of testing to help try and find problems if there ever are any when you're out at the track. Now that we've got all the parts back from fabrication for the fuel system, uh, I can show you how this all works in together. Uh, so we have our main fuel cell here and here. This tank's uh, got a slightly higher bottom than that one. Uh, so any fuel slosh pushes it out into the outside tank, which is where the inlet to the fuel pump is going to sit. You can see that just down there. That is our reworked fuel pump from uh, Speed and Parts Development. It's got a couple of internals that have been changed uh, and designed to work with alcohol fuels a lot better than the normal Bosch pumps. Um, so that's our outlet fitting here. Uh, you can see that all of our fuel fittings um, are the basically full flow, non-restricted fittings. Um, your most common Again, fittings uh, have a slight restriction when going around the radius of the corner. These ones do not. The internal diameter does not change. They are a little bit more expensive as a result of that, but they're definitely worth it, and you do not get any flow restrictions. So, comes into our primary fuel rail here. Fuel then runs out, up into the secondaries. Out, back down, 
into the speed imports fuel pressure regulator. This is another part along with the fuel fittings and the fuel line and the fuel pump, uh, which have been provided by one of our sponsors, Speed and Parts. Um, basically, we were using other fuel pressure regulators, but we were getting uh, vacuum leaks and things like that, causing random and sporadic fuel pressure drops. Um, this is a real deal and it's absolutely fantastic. Not have any problems with it. This is the return feed to the tank after the pressure has been regulated and the excess fuel gets bled off back into the tank there. We've got a vent up there, which is going to be ran up to a filter. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the fuel system. <laughs> Since getting the bike uh, running for the first time, as you would have seen in that last video, I've just been doing some tidying up really, getting everything ready to go on the rolling road, <clears throat> which will be happening tomorrow. Uh, I'll include a few short clips of that. And once that's done, the bike will be uh, pretty much track ready. We're just waiting on fairings and a few other little bits uh, to keep everything nice and tidy.